D-backs and the Rangers around the corner here at Chase Field. More on that game and the game, in fact, in just a little bit. Steve and Bob have the call. But first, uh, this story. G Jean Fruth is her name, and she is one of the most accomplished and highly regarded baseball photographers in the world. I think her work is, is second to none, and it's more than just a keen eye. I think it is coupled with her intense passion and love and understanding of the game of baseball at every level of it. And I think she captures it like you can't believe. And we've been talking about a, a feature that's uh, headed your way here in just moments about a, a project called Grassroots Baseball. I'm Todd Walsh and welcome to the show. Gene Fruth and Jeff Idelson. Jeff was a, a longtime member of the Baseball Hall of Fame. He's a baseball lifer. Jeff and Gene combined on this project called Grassroots Baseball. It's more than just a, a coffee table book. One's out, another one is, uh, is in the queue, as they say. But Grassroots Baseball is also a campaign. And you see their Instagram accounts, the Twitter and Facebook pages as well. But it's a, a program to promote and celebrate the amateur game around the world. And just recently, they traveled together on historic Route 66 from Chicago to Santa Monica through Arizona. Williams, Flagstaff at Mark Grace Field with the pride of Williams, Billy Hatcher. They held clinics for children with Hall of Famers all along the way. And I had a chance recently to talk to both of them about this grassroots baseball project. Gene and Jeff, I'm just looking at your your baseball bios and your resumes in the game, and you feel to me like the perfect match for this particular project because of the depth of knowledge of the game, your love of the game, the game within the game, and what you want to get out of this. So before we get to the grassroots thing, I'll start with you, Gene. Can you explain the relationship with Jeff, how this started, and Jeff, can you follow that up? When I was traveling around shooting um, professional baseball, both in the U.S. and outside the U.S., I always took time to shoot the amateur game, the grassroots game. It's a passion that I've had throughout my career. And shooting everything from sand lots, kids playing baseball pickup games in the street, and even old guys playing stickball in New York City. And this collection of images was a personal project and had never been seen. And then during my tenure with the Baseball Hall of Fame as their traveling photographer, I worked with Jeff on quite a few projects um, in Japan, at the Little League World Series. And he knew of my passion because as we were covering a game at night, I would say, oh, I'm going to go shoot this Little League game, you know, in Tokyo. And, and Jeff and I talked a lot about, you know, that project and how important it was to me uh, as a grassroots game. And how excited I was to always shoot, you know, that level, um, because it's really where, where passion is, you know, it's before money and contracts. To, to follow up, Ty, so Gene sat there uh, covering all these kids playing and, and uh, just, uh, you know, sort of excited and, and, and interested in what she's doing. And then she decides she wants to do this book, uh, her first book, Rescue Space Bowl, Where Legends Began. And her concept was to tie the legends back to the regions from where they came. So as the book was laid out, we put together a list of uh, potential Hall of Famers and other uh, major league stars that could introduce the different chapters. There's 15 chapters. Uh, plus a, a introduction and afterward, and we went three deep in each category. Our number one choice for every single chapter said yes. To the nonprofit Grassroots Baseball, the, 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 the two arcs here, the goals. Jeff, I'll start with you. What exactly is it and what are you trying to do? What we really wanted to do was give the amateur game a bigger boost um, in this day and age with the competition in so many other areas and, and with kids' interests all over the place. Those who are playing baseball deserve a little more recognition, and perhaps by doing that, we'd grow the game uh, incrementally in promoting the amateur game. The giving back part was another way because it's not it's not an even landscape, as we know, in this country or anywhere, and a lot of kids don't have the, the wherewithal or means to even be introduced to the game. So... We decided to launch the Route 66 project last summer as our first foray for grassroots baseball. Uh, we traversed the 2,500 miles in an RV, stocked with gloves and with balls from Rawlings and gum from Big League Chew, and uh, the generosity of, of, of teams like the Arizona Diamondbacks who helped us along the way. And we were able to go to 10, uh, uh, 10 clinics, 10 boys and girls clubs where we held clinics across Route 66 and uh, bring Hall of Famers in to share their message about what it was like growing up and uh, really start to give back in some communities and grow the game. 
Gina, I have a goofy question. At this point, what is your passion? Is it photography through baseball now, or is it the other way around? Can you can you split those? I, it's, is it possible? It, it's really storytelling. My, my passion okay. is storytelling. I love action. And sometimes action tells a story too, of course. When I'm going into a new place, new town, and what, 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 what's going to happen? And that, that is the goal, to be able to tell, tell stories. Baseball looks different in different places, and that, that is, it feels just as exciting today to do it as it did when I got started. Special thanks to uh, Josh Kelman for finding that story, Brock Kraft for making that feature come to life, but also obviously to, to Gene and Jeff. And guys, as I told you in that Zoom interview, my offer stands. If, if you're thinking of the next tour, you've already done Route 66, I'll drive. If you want to do the Erie Canal from Albany to Buffalo and chase the, the history of, of some of the baseball players along the way in some of the most beautiful and uh, wonderful hamlets and villages in upstate and western New York from Albany to Buffalo, maybe you know the song. Grassroots Baseball, it's worth your time if you are indeed a fan. We'll take a short break and come back, get on track for this game. Game two, we'll take a look at the matchups and somebody's making their major league debut as a starter. That's him. Talk about it in a moment.